I'm Nick Davis with this special report, Revolving Door, the 25 Most Arrested People of Wapolo County. In talking with local law enforcement professionals, they'll often tell you that one of the most frustrating parts of their jobs is in dealing with repeat offenders. We wanted to know exactly how bad the problem was right here in Wapolo County. We sat down with Sheriff Mark Miller, who helped us by compiling a list of the 25 most arrested individuals in Ottumwa. Wapolo County Sheriff Mark Miller explains how his department built that list. You know, I think we had to go to our software developer because we refined it uh, pretty, pretty uniquely. But I think it was for everything, every book in that was over, you know, 30 minutes, you know, how, the, their duration in jail to try to narrow it down to get, you know, true people and, and not people coming in and like sex offender registry, that sort of thing. So we wanted to make sure they were true bookends you know, that we had here at the facility. 80% of the worst repeat offenders are male. They've been arrested an average of 19.6 times in the last five years alone. Many have more than 100 individual entries or cases filed on Iowa Courts Online across their lifetime. Their average age is 39 years old. The youngest is 24, the oldest 53. More than 90% are Caucasian. Their crimes range from simple traffic offenses to property crime, drug offenses, and more serious felonies. You know, I think a lot of traf- uh, traffic crime, but uh, I mean, I think there's also a lot of property crime too. A lot of thefts, you know, and a lot of burglaries, you know, come through here often, you know, and of course the drugs are associated so closely with the property crimes, you know. You know, these people don't have jobs, so they resort to, you know, theft and burglary in order to get the money that they need to buy their drugs. You know, so it really is a, it really is a revolving circle. The sheriff says that it's not a new problem. It's one he's faced across his entire career. Oh, and I don't think it, no, I don't think it's a new problem. I think it's a reoccurring problem that, you know, is decades old, but I think a lot of it depends on, too, you know, what are we doing with these repeat offenders? Are we letting them back out to repeat offend again? You know, and a lot of it does depend on what criteria the crime is that they're in here for. I mean, nobody's going to send, you know, very few people go to prison for driving under suspension, even though that's a pretty commonly charged offense, yeah. honestly. This week, we'll dig deeper into the list of 25 individuals. We'll find out more about the situation and speak with Wapolo County Attorney Gary Oldenberger to discuss how it affects the courts. Representative Mary Gaskell and Senator Mark Chelgren will weigh in on what the Iowa legislature can do. Finally, we'll talk about methods that have proven successful in Iowa and in other states. Join us tomorrow for part two, the situation today, and for the next five of the 25 most arrested individuals in Wapolo County.